Hey guys, Rami here, and this is your second stimulus package update and second stimulus check update for May 31st. The Senate will be back in session tomorrow, June 1st, and we have some interesting updates on the second stimulus package and second stimulus check from surprisingly Senate Democrats, not Republicans. So let's take a look at what they're saying and analyze it together as soon as you hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you haven't already so I can provide you with all the accurate, up-to-date information you need. So as you all know, the second major stimulus package, the HEROES Act, passed the House on May 15th and still nothing happened to it in the Senate other than criticizing it. And just to be clear, because I get that question in the comments a lot, many have commented, hey, I received my first stimulus check already, but I'm still waiting on my second stimulus check. Where is it? How come I didn't get it yet? So don't hold your breath. The second stimulus check is part of the HEROES Act, which only passed the House so far, but needs to pass the Senate and the President to be official and real. And those two steps didn't happen yet. But here's what we're hearing now from the Senate Democrats, according to TheHill.com. Senator Ben Cardin, a member of the Senate Finance Committee, said he wants the next round of stimulus to be more focused on the households that have been hardest hit by the shutdown caused by the pandemic. When he was asked if he supports a second round of stimulus checks, he said, I'd like to take a look at all that aid that we provided and get good economic information on the value for that from the point of view of our economy, but more importantly, on fairness to people who are really hurt. He also said that direct payments made more sense in March when Congress wanted to get money out the door as quickly as possible. But now as states are allowing businesses to reopen around the country, he says that lawmakers should look at who will most need relief in the coming months. Another senator, Senator Ron Wyden, the senior Democrat on the Finance Committee, said he would back another round of direct payments, but that they're not his top priority. Here's his quote, I would support additional payments as well as fixing problems with the first round of payments like the exclusion of dependents and citizen children of immigrants. My top priorities are tying expanded unemployment benefits to economic conditions and providing more help for the smallest of the small businesses. So let's analyze what these two Democrat senators are saying here. And just remember that I'm not taking sides here. I'm actually a bit surprised this is coming from Democrats and not Republicans. But they're both actually saying some things I talked about in previous videos before. And that is the need for this stimulus money to be more targeted specifically to those who are really affected by this. The qualification requirements need to be changed a little bit, I think. And here's, here's my point. The limitation that was on the last stimulus check and actually still on the second stimulus check that's proposed in the HEROES Act it's just based on income levels from your last tax return in 2018 or 2019, whichever the latest. But it never took into account your employment status. I'm sure there are millions of people around the country who make less than $75,000 or $150,000 for married couples who didn't miss a single workday by working from home and still got their checks, paychecks and stimulus checks. So why would a family of four making $150,000 get $2,400 for the adults and an additional $1,000 for both their children? I mean, listen, don't get me wrong. Everyone would love more money, but I just think the government just had to act quickly to get the money into the people's hands as fast as possible and more regulations would have slowed down the process. So they just put this income limits and regulations and sent out the money. In my opinion, it's not even fair to someone who was making more than limits in 2019 and then got laid off now in 2020 because of what's going on and is not eligible to get the money because their latest tax return showed they made $100,000 as a single person or whatever. So that person didn't get a penny of stimulus money even though they probably needed more especially if they live in a city like New York, more than someone making 75,000 somewhere in Georgia, for example, and is still working from home. So on one hand, you have someone who last year made $100,000 living in an expensive city in New York who lost their job 
and didn't get anything versus someone living in Georgia making $75,000 and still working from home and got a bonus check from the government for $1,200. I know it's difficult to make things more targeted and more case by case from the government, but I have a feeling that's what they may need to do for this second stimulus check to pass. And that's probably what they're looking into by saying they want it to be more targeted. Now, these are just two Democratic senators who are saying this, so I don't know if it will have a major impact on the discussions or maybe the stimulus check portion of the HEROES Act can just pass as is. We'll have to wait and see, but one thing they need to fix though, for sure, is what happened to college students and adult dependents who didn't get anything from the last stimulus check and the people claiming them didn't even get the $500 per dependent. That needs to be fixed retroactively, which is actually what is also proposed in the current HEROES Act. So we'll see. But listen, I'd love to hear what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and thank you for 100,000 subscribers. I can't, I can't even, I can't thank you enough for all the support. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that notifications bell. And don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and two free stocks from Webull, with one of them potentially worth $1,400 after you deposit only $100. Links in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.